Hello everyone and welcome back to Corona's Place 13 Sentinels. Today we're gonna go back in the shoe story and see what else evil crap his future self is apparently doing, or one cool. of his future selves. I don't really know anymore. But yeah, don't try to revive your dead girlfriend by uh, putting so her into a robot. And then don't try to revive her, like kill her, we're seeing are into another robot. In the past. And it turns out this place is actually isolated? And how do you know all this? The TV oh, told you. you. No, know, just the pop star Miyuki and Abba talking through my TV. Who the heck do I even talk to about this? I honestly don't know. If I know. just tell the truth, they'll <laughs> throw me in a loony bin. You Miyuki? would you would run into some problems if you were like, hey. Well, it's not just our names. He and I are totally different people. <sighs> In my dream, personality wise, yes, right her soul now, absolutely. Is an android body. No, her memories were be the not her soul. Feeling. What would it even maybe? Be like I don't really know. A body of your own, and like one of the things the game keeps kind of like, oh, yeah, we transfer memories. Oh, hey, we transfer conscious. Now he's saying we transfer the soul. The way Miyuki and Abba tell I don't even know anymore. Those dreams weren't from the future like I thought they were, they already happened. It's all in the past. The past 2100. The way she describes it, these aren't just dreams and videos Karabe-kun and I see. They're actual events that happened in the past. The past of Tetsuya Ida. I just wanted a nice first... Yeah, well, you can't have nice things. Uh, okay, so now we're down here, and there's only one path, so... Yuki-chan? Yuki-chan? Nope, not In detention? Here. You want me to help you with your quiz? Occupied. Detention is a cruel mistress. Maybe? I didn't have detention that much. And when I did, it wasn't that bad. I just sat there zoning out. Mm -hmm. Tomiki Saragi isn't here. Well, probably for the best, actually. Bumping into yeah, her would, now would be wouldn't super wanna awkward. Ask her if she was actually a different person. Oh, Juro. Kurabe-kun. Hey, Jiro. I'm How's it Fuji going, dog? Transfer hey, bodies lately? going home? Perfect timing. See, um, about that video. It was not Sorry. Ass Splashes 9000. I'm kind of in a hurry. Oh, uh, it's cool. <sighs> huh? Oh, nothing. See ya. Kurabe-kun. That was weird. Chase after Seems him. Like something's up with him. Maybe he's figured something out too? Maybe. Hmm. So like go after him? And then tap no? Okay. Shouldn't run in the halls like this. I it is still bothering me how the <sighs> Maybe I don't I know why it's happening air. now. I, after forty goddamn episodes, you think I would have noticed it sooner, but now that I see everything sharpening when I move, it's actually messing with me. Maybe. Oh, do Maybe we get I shot here? Public. Lay everything out in the open. Yeah, don't do that. You will get committed. I guess I could. And those places aren't Yuki good. And talking in this timeline, in what I'm in, let TV alone in stations. 1985. Hey, Nenji. Let's get you so spaced Nenji, out. if Megumi shows up, uh, for, I swear to God, don't leave my ass, please. shit on my mind. What about you? You look like hell. Yeah. Something weighing you down? Genetics. Yeah. You could say that. Hey, uh... Remember when I skipped school for a few days? Yeah? What about it? Yeah, uh... I actually spent those days stranded in another time. <laughs> Stuck in the future. Huh. Well, me, I'd go with a more plausible excuse for ditching. Yeah, that's about what I figured. So now so you can fight in him. What's going on with you? TV's talking huh? to me. Oh. You know that pop star, Miyuki Inaba? She's been showing up in my room every night. I don't know what to do. Well, if you're gonna make me feel stupid for asking. See, now you're both dumb. Yeah, that's about what I figured. <laughs> 
I guess this is the other alternative, right? You actually can find in someone and they're just like, oh, and they totally can find and you just run in circles. What's up? Yakushiji-san from Class 1C. She said she wanted to talk to me today. Said she'd Nenji, find me do up not here. leave me. <sighs> this shit again? Sheesh. Sometimes you're real annoying to be friends with. I know. Nenji, don't leave I'll me! Just get out of here. She's way. going to shoot me! <sighs> Bye! <laughs> oh, god damn it. Hi. Again? Oh, just stuff from middle school. Yeah, girls dig me. Girls used to confess their love to me in front of him all the time. It was more to mess with him than me. Oh, oh, wow. Is that what this is about? I'm sorry. Really, I... I I've got feelings for someone else. Yeah, it's Tomi or That's Yuki, one or the other. I'm here to tell you. Oh, sorry. Awkward. So, what do you need? No <gasps> need to apologize. This might hurt a little anyway. Ow. Mission accomplished. Sentinel number 20. Transmitting. Thank you. Get me the hell out of here. She shot my ass. What's going on? I just destroyed the block. Bye. What is this? It's a sentinel. Where am I? Inside a sentinel. Yeah. Whoa, shit, this thing flies? Yeah. It's actually very mobile. I wish they were all mobile. They need booster packs. <laughs> Launch point looks to be Yai Machi. Close to Sakura High School. There's no mistaking it. It's a sentinel. No shit. Notify all ministries and agencies, and the U.S. military. Tell them no scrambles. Showa-era weapons won't do much against a sentinel. We don't know who's on it or what their intent is. It looks like their planet needs them, Calling so they must go. Shonome. Still ascending. What's it trying to do? I don't think it knows what it's trying to do. That sentinel... I believe that's the last aerial lightweight craft designed by Okino. I thought it never even entered production. You'd be wrong. Who is that? You, Shrug? I am in, I'm in space now. God, I hope there's oxygen on this thing. Altitude reading says 2,078 meters. Yeah, you should not be in space. You've bypassed the upper shield. Okay. You are now outside the enclosure. Go me! I'm outside the wall now? So, outside that, it's just... space? What does all this mean? I saw a lot of these huge robots in my dreams, but... None of them could fly. That is Sentinel number 20. And you are its operator. Does Yakushiji work for you? The Sentinel was never meant to be transmitted. They found us. Who's they? The military? Intruders from another district. They left their origin point and came to your world. Okay. Another district? Wait, there's more than one of these places? We need to hide the Sentinel. Uh, I'm pretty sure space is a good hiding spot. I can't do anything for you here. You have to go back to your sector. Oh, well, that's dangerous. Go back how? This thing's got propellers. Whoa! We're going down! Yeah, that's nauseating, actually. Please don't do that again. Ow. Hi, Yuki Chan! How'd you like that kick slip flip? Pretty dope, right? You wanna go on a date? Look, I'll go to any means to impress you. Hey, it's Yuki-chan. I knew it. 
Oh god. It's like I keep saying, we got to be soulmates. Good timing too. Can you carry Can me back home? One more time before I died. You're seriously still talking this crap even now? Is that thing yours? I guess. Sentinel number 20, transmitting. Bye. It's, it's gone. gone. I'm just glad I didn't crash somewhere with people. Again? You gotta tell me what happened. We'll take over from here. Of all possible pilots, I'd never have expected you. Me? Shu Amiguchi. Four eyes. Hi, how's it going? We're agents with the government. Allow me to be direct. Cooperate with us and I can guarantee Kick you him in the nuts, Shu! If not, Would that hurt you? you will be institutionalized. Uh bye! Oh, god damn it. You know something? I really, really hate being talked down to. Especially from guys like you. Easy, Amiguchi. Yuki-chan, you know this guy? <sighs> she is a member of our organization. Well! What? You were part of her assignment. She was sent to monitor pilots like you. That's why she was transferred to Sakura High School. No way. Tell me he's kidding. Amiguchi, I... Uh. I suggest you cooperate, Shu Amiguchi. I suggest you kick him in the nuts, Shu. For Takamiya's sake, if nothing else. <sighs> to be continued. Shu, you got, got, you got characters in this game. You don't know how effective a kick in the nuts can be when negotiating, all right? So we're locked now. Uh, we gotta clear the second, or no, the second area, Shubugaki City Wave 10. We're close to it, we're at Wave 8. All right, um, currently at 35. <laughs> I don't know, man. Unlock condition. Unseal three mystery files. Currently at 35. That is just kind of hilarious. Um, okay, so we can go to you because we did your Spectre Reborn bullshit. Oh, that was like a while ago. You're at 75%, so I don't think I want to do you. Who is the lowest? Oh, god damn. Uh, okay, we can't do you. And we can't do you. Um, 37, 37, 42, 75, 55. <sighs> I guess it's you, man. <sighs> You're sure there are no <laughs> here? Positive. Great. Chihiro Morimura's objective, one with great implications, especially for those from another world, like me. If Operation Aegis succeeds, we'll never be able to leave this world. And that must be it. That must be why I killed her. One of her. She seems to have a particular fondness yeah, for Yeah, it's kind of weird. It appears she confessed her feelings to me. Which was dumb. And I have yet to give her an answer. Probably for the best. What was I going to do? Well, you don't know her, so probably say no. She, the, the, oh, that and she's like the person you killed in the future, so that is a time paradox, I maybe. I see them earlier in the morning, but I haven't seen them at all this afternoon. Do you think they left? I seriously hope so. I'm just gonna hold my head up high or if a down random low. Stranger like me is seen on campus. Will that be a problem? Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, I don't know. Will it? Yeah. <sighs> this day and age, it would be. Worry, especially with that uniform. It may be from the future, but it's still a Sakura High uniform. What? So you don't have to feel like a stranger. Iori, that is the stupidest goddamn logic I have ever goddamn heard. If it is a future uniform from a school. And you go into the past, and it's a different uniform? That doesn't matter. 
it matters so goddamn little that it might be from the same Sakura High in the future because it hasn't happened yet in the past. They're not going to know what it is. Even if it says Sakura High, they'll just think this guy's an idiot. Sure. Oh, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Oh, goddamn it, invisible plot walls. Let's just go. So tell me, what's Sakura High like in the future? Destroyed in the future. Well, there should be a new building up and running. Should be? Yes, you'll see it for yourself someday. No. Uh, no fear. Do I have a headache or am I trying to hide my face? Is anyone just allowed to enter the nurse's office? No. Well, there's no teacher there, so it's closed right now. <sighs> yeah, you killed her. Leave it to me. I'll figure something out. Hi, Tommy Chan. Oh, it's you. Guess I'm coming back. Yori, what's up? Hey, Sami Chan. What are you doing here? I would like to know that as well. well. He wanted to check out the school. So I'm just showing him around. Hmm. Uh, oh, cool. Yep. Anyway, we better get going. All right. See you later. Call the cops. Save me. Who are they calling the cops on the grass? I don't know. Yori? I feel like I'm a trapped. <laughs> what? You want Hey, you. That had to be her. Yeah. The girl who delivered the message from myself. Hi. What? Nothing. Bye. Is something wrong? Yes, yeah, I saw a girl that I wanted to talk to. Must have been my imagination. Bye bye. <laughs> She's like, wait, why are you running ahead of me? The door's open. Whoa. Hi. What, what, what are we doing? Chihiro Momura... Yeah, Morimura's desk. Never mind. Hi, how's it going? I managed to borrow the key to the nurse's office. How? And all I had to do was lie to the teacher. That's it? Please, my classmate skinned her knee. <laughs> See, this is how you get people to not trust you, Iori, is when you lie to them about shit like that. Oh. What's wrong? Well, um... It, it's... Just the two of us in here together, all alone. Uh. Yeah, I'm done with this shit. Check her desk. Thank you. What's in the desk? Medicine? Oral NM. Oh, the pills! Inside the drawers? These drawers are locked up tight. Break them! What are you looking for? Stuff? Money? Pills? No, okay. Uh, anything over here? No, bet. Hey, how's it going? What's up? Are you looking for something, Aku? I don't know. It must be really important. Is it? Is it? Let's see. There has to be a spare key for that desk. And it's probably somewhere in the teacher's lounge. Okay. Okay, I'll make up another excuse. I hope you get then found I out. Be able to get my hands on it. Hey, let's get the hell out of here, dog. Consider. The label's a bit different, but it lists the same medication. Oral NM, C0204. Just like the bottle I picked up before. Uh, you can just break this desk, dog. It's it's wooden, man. Just just pull really hard. Let's take a look at these student medical records. Ryoko Shinonome. Looks like she was given C zero two zero four. Uh, use. 
Why? Morimura. Oh, on the She's desk. Been administering this drug to these students. Ryoko Shinonome. There are more. Shu Amiguchi. And Juro Izumi. Huh? That was quick. So, did you manage to find the key? Megumi! Oh, are you gonna shoot me? You're gonna the shoot me, aren't you? Is closed. I'm the nurse now. Come back when... <laughs> you better start talking. Yeah, mine's a real gun. After me. Are you working with them? This is what you wanted me to do. What I wanted? Hey, what is this? It's a standoff. Sekigahara, wait! Don't shoot! You too, Megumi. What are you thinking? Yeah, his gun's real. Hey, Megumi. Hi. I only followed you out of sheer curiosity, but what in the world just happened with Megumi? She pulled a gun on me. Not a thing. And you're wandering around by yourself? Where's Iori? I have no idea. Who's Iori? What's your problem? Well, clearly I'm just a hopeless busybody. True. I'm going to look for Megumi. You know, I thought you were going to take those pills a second ago. Oh, we're getting some music here. Should I leave? That girl with the braids. I know I've seen her somewhere. Terminator? But where? Damn it. Come on, think. Recall! That's right. She's... Flashback! Destroyed facility! The lights are still on. Uh, Maybe this place isn't entirely... Okay. Abandoned. You you are going to see the Terminator. Examine. This terminal should be able to tell me where I am. Quite a bit of Android information here. You don't say. This all looks like research data. Ah, here we go. Shikishima Tech Lab number six. Sixth level underground. Is that far? So, this is a Shikishima facility. Current year is... 2104? Ah, it's not that bad. I've shifted 40 years into the future. Hi. An android. Is that what this well, place part is part of an android? For? It's like the body of an uh, android. What the hell? I keep getting these terrible headaches. Oh, Could it be from shifting? Yeah. Hi. This looks bad. Another one? We are the Tomies. Goodbye. Oh shit. No. What happened? Uh oh. Uh, okay. Okay. What do I do? Do I not? Ah. Close the door. This look another Uh gun? Guys, we can talk this out. Over here. Oh, you're 426. I can see your leg. If you want to die? You should stop snooping around. Hi. The surface is covered in lethal levels of radiation right now. Go up there and you'll cough up blood until you're dead. Fun? Who are you? Well, clearly, I'm just a hopeless busybody. <laughs> oh, wait, are you actually. That was transmitted under are you actually Tommy? How much do you understand about the current situation? Well, that can't be right. I don't know why, but I ended up here somehow. 
I have no idea what happened. <laughs> also, tell me, showing a little much skin on that skirt there, you. huh? The Sentinel, or you rather, are compromised. You've been infected with code DD426. Okay. Code DD4. What is that? It's a program that's been implemented into you. Well, into the nano machines in your body, to be specific. Its main function is to sever a portion of the nano machine. The part that's cut is physically connected to the brain. That seems bad. And that region of the brain is where memories are stored. Your brain suffers damage each time a connection is severed. <sighs> that's not good. You can lose your memories. Or worse, become a husk. Like that? Is that why I've been getting these headaches? I've had them ever since I got here. Is it her? This is all so sudden. I'm not entirely sure I can believe her. Well, she is an android. But I do keep getting these headaches. And I definitely don't want to become an empty husk. That's true. Why would anyone want to do something like this? Eh, fun. Is this irreversible? Can I try deleting the code? That's not possible. Access to your nano machines is restricted. Once a code or program is implemented, there's no way to delete it. That is a serious design flaw. How long... How long do I have before I become a husk? It depends on the intensity of the infection. Or how much time you spend inside the infected sentinel. The longer you're in there, the worse it'll be. Let's assume the infection is moving slowly. To spread to your entire body, it'll take about a month. That's the best case scenario. Worst case would be within a few days. A few days? I may not be able to remove it, but there is a way to delay its effects. Oh, I bet. Fortunately, I discovered a nanomachine lab here. I found it by analyzing the underground mainframe's data. It is a facility that researches future technologies, after all. I can create a code that'll temporarily stall the effects. You can? First, let's make a deal. What? I need a small favor from you. Okay, what's the favor? It's nothing complicated. I doubt that. I just need you to get me out of here. Not anyone can use the shifter. Only those who possess nano machines can use it. Okay, get some nano machines then. Uh, Android? I have to ask. What's a young girl like you doing? In have this you not noticed her leg? Uh, I see. The androids here are wrapped in a human like skin. Just like you. Oh, this? Yeah. It's pretty easy to see the damage on this skin. Well, I guess the cat's out of the bag now. Could have put on pants. That's right. Okino mentioned something about this. He said some AI stole an android and escaped. Tsukasa Okino, huh? You should ask him about DD-426. No one knows more about it than he does. Is that so? So? How does my offer sound to you? Uh, shady! I don't really have a choice. Then it's settled. I'll give you some pills for your headaches right now. Wouldn't want you to forget about our deal. So that's what's wrong with Yoko then, right? To be continued. Okay, and you're unlocked still, so I guess we'll go back to you next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all then. Bye.